The simple link 3D is basically the same as the simple link 2D or 1D, but for 3D properties. So for properties that have three components, yeah. So like for example, positions or orientations of 3D layers. I have here two 3D layers, namely this Mamo, which I already animated here um, over time with a few keyframes. And you can see I animated here not just the position, but also the orientation of this layer. And now we want this world to make uh, to, to follow it. Yeah? So the easiest thing we can do is go here to the position and click here on this linking. And then we go to this uh, position and apply it. And now you can see that the world th that this world thing nicely follows the position of the Mamo, so they are always connected at this point here, but of course it doesn't yet rotate with it. Yeah, so this is different to parenting that it only takes over the position and not any other value like the rotation or so. Uh, if you also want to take over the orientation, you can link this separately. So I undo this link here, select the orientation, and link to the orientation, and this is now applied here to this orientation. And now you can see that the orientation is also taken over, so no need to add any keyframes to these here, they automatically take the values from the other layer, like this. Okay, this is the basic way how to use the Simple Link 3D, and then you have some more advanced options that you get when you click here, and we want to apply these advanced options to the position in this case. Yeah, So we go again here to the position and go to Load, so now we have the eye expression that is linked to the position and not to the orientation. And want to change here these uh, offset parameters. Um, so one thing that you can have is a constant offset. And if you do this, you can, so for example, say this world logo should always be in that space a little bit behind. Yeah. So let's say minus uh, 100 or so. And we apply that here. And in order to do not need to apply and apply and reapply again and again, I just enable this one here, which is auto apply, which basically says live updating. So whenever you change something here, it will be automatically updated here in the expression for the position. And now you can see the world follows the Mamo, but it is a little bit uh, behind it, yeah, or minus 100 actually in front of it. If we say this here to 500 to make this effect a bit stronger, you can see it is now way behind it in that space. Yeah. And if we look at it, for example, uh, from uh, from the side, so let's say we go here to four views, you can see that it's really behind it. Yeah, here is my Mamo, and here's the world really in that space behind it. Okay, anyway. Um, Another thing that we can do instead of having a constant offset is having a time offset. This means we go here to zero and say the world should follow the Mamo with a time delay. We can, for example, say it should be 20 frames later. Yeah. This means uh, if you look here at a RAM preview, um, Maybe let me deactivate motion blur to make it a bit faster. So you can see now the world is following the Mamo, but always with a certain a delay in time. Yeah, It's just always 20 frames uh, later. And again, another thing that you can of course also do is to scale, uh, so to, to, to scale your link. This means, let's say we go here again back to no time offset. Zero. And now let's say uh, this one should move twice as fast as this one. Yeah. Then we can say we scale this in all dimensions by 200%. And if you apply this, you notice that it's gone. And this is something I explained in more detail in the simple link 2D. Yeah. So watch this one uh, if you know not yet what is happening. So the point is we need to set this point around which should be scaled. And let's say we want them to meet at this point here, yeah, that's the final point. This is 374, uh, 674, 399, 399, and zero. Yeah, and now you can see here, here it is. And once the Mamo moves away from this particular point, the world moves also away from this, but in this case, twice as much. 
Uh, this looks quite nice. And now we can say, okay, maybe we only want it to move uh, further away in Z space, but in X and Y it should be exactly identical. So this means we can scale in X and Y with uh, normal value, 100, 100. And only in Z space it is um, smaller. Yeah, You can see now, for example, when this one has position uh, minus 237.5, this one has also minus 300, uh, 237.5. And only here the Z component is twice as, as far away. Yeah. And this means it just moves further f from further away, but with the same movement in X and Y. And yeah, with this you can play a lot, of course, to get exactly the behavior uh, you want to have. The nice thing of all these linkings is that uh, yeah, you save a lot of keyframes. Yeah, in this case, you just need to keyframe the MAMO, and the world does not need any keyframes, meaning when you have to adjust your keyframes later, you have just half as many keyframes to adjust, which makes your workflow quite efficient.